One thing Rally Legends does nail is the unique risk and reward appeal of the sport. It's just you and your car against the clock and the elements, but you're still up against it. Every overshot corner, clipped tree, and poorly thought out car setup means extra seconds on the clock. The results of those mistakes accumulate and follow you throughout several stages. On the one hand, this grants you the ability to quite literally make up for lost time, but it also means you can compound your mistakes with even more mistakes. The game demands a basic level of competency and consistency rather than outrageous flashes of brilliance. But the problem the game can't escape is it doesn't give you the tools to do so. Unfortunately, the racing in Manny Legends simply doesn't feel right. There's a floaty, disconnected sensation to the car handling that at times makes you feel like you're steering a boat rather than a car. The camera angles don't help either. By default, the camera locks straight behind the car, which is really disconcerting when you enter a corner. The other angle locks the camera slightly to the side, which is just weird. It doesn't help that the virtual controls feel rough and unreliable. We'd routinely find ourselves driving straight off on corners, seemingly because the button hadn't been hit quite right. Technically too, the game is a bit of a mess. It's got a simple, polygonal look that could almost convince you it's a stylistic choice, except for the fact the whole thing lurches along slowly. The resolution defaults to way below what the phone should be able to manage, but bumping the resolution up adversely impacted the game. There's an old PC game vibe too in some of the basic menus. It's all a shame because the developer's commitment to providing a true rallying experience, complete with prolonged stages, humble cars and a handbrake button, is admirable. But the flaky mechanics aren't quite up to the wear and tear of a prolonged racing session.